Hello guys, welcome back and good morning to you wherever you are. Because I'm in Malaysia right now, it's morning 12:23 a.m. Early morning. Well, on this video, as in the title, this is the LG G. It's not LG, it's a POCO X3 Pro Windows 11 Alright, let's begin And the device LG g -Elec. Before this, you watch my video how to install a custom ROM well this is the line OS OS Android top we're going to use the recovery also you can use your own recovery as long as it work as long can be used to edit the GPT alright Let's begin. Let's off the pawn. Switch off. The file needed after this, I show you. Hold the volume minus. Connect the cable. This is the way to boot to fast boot. Recovery mode. Boot loader. Start power off recovery mode start we using the line edge OS recovery because the the other recovery cannot be used to edit the partition table especially the user data actually I got my own recovery well for that maybe someday or some other day and for the moment we use this recovery from the line edge OS alright for the Windows 11 you can download UUP dumb from the site link for it in the description you can use the letters preview bill letters preview bill letters beta channel bill also can be used it's up to you but download the arm 64 only not the x64 um t3 hd this cumulative anyone can be use use the pro next create all right done from there, download, extract the folder, over here, Windows, Mac and Linux, this one, right click, run as administrator, run anyway, over here, type R, run run enter it's downloading it's depend on your internet speed how long will it download if you got a faster internet maybe one hour or maybe less if you got a slow internet maybe 10 megabytes per second maybe three to four hours slower even slow 
right? Since I got uh, already got the ISO, this is how you download until it finish. Then you will get the uh, Windows 11 ISO inside this folder. So I'm going to stop. It, that's how you download the ISO. Yeah, this is how to. the flash all the instruction here this is the UEFI this one for V50 right you can read in English installation instruction if you got problem contact him It's all very clear written here. Only your head, use your head how to think. All right. Link for the file, maybe after this, I give it to you in the description now we begin installing sorry for the long video just uh, showing the website where I get the file okay I got already got my folder the driver we download just now you can extract it Also the updater, the script. Not this one, sorry. This one Poco X3 Pro, let this one. Alright, no no worry. All the link in the description. This is the driver. It don't have the update the script to execute the file. Two one zero. This is the latest one. S uh, seen his. Uh, older one if you use this one maybe you get error this is the older one oh sorry I need the uh, instruction right This is my way. You see, my active slot now is B. Just now, on the previous video, I'm flashing it to the A. Now the active are B. Always remember your active slot <coughs> alright now we are in the fine s recovery just open uh, command prompt this is not the s administrator when you see the system 32 this is the administrator this is the normal command you see your PC username. Now we're going to use the normal command. Going to push the patted script, the patted file. ADB push space the patted space backslash. I'm using the cache partition. C S C S E 
ETHE enter you see the error for this recovery go to advanced enable ADB enable ADB right one more time ADB push pull and drop the parted file space CSCSE now it's in the cache we already put it there push it there so give permission to read the parted file you can the script are the same on the website where Icito do it already he already done it the uh, instruction there you can read it a copy now adb shell this is the device change directory to cache now we're going to read the developer black uh, developer block sda this is the loon zero partition there are b sd b sdc sde all the partition we only edit the a only don't disturb other partition loon one loon two loon three loon four that one don't disturb it okay now type b this is the partition table of your g at always backup this is the start address and start and there is no space between this partition no space if there is a space 100 megabyte your device will put loop especially over here after we create another part two partition for the windows remember your last address of the partition are 126 GB this is a 126 your user data start on 18.9 GB to 126 GB this is your user data 107 GB maybe if we can oh you cannot read the the actual size are less actually maybe around 102 minus 5 GB because the 5 GB are for the some other file the system file for the user data but it's not visible right back up this partition like mine i already back up it so in case something wrong i can restore back but since this lg uh, series you can easily restore back even it heartbreak just use the lg up tool to restore all the partition or you just add, edit the user data back to the original size this is the original size same over here all right now we're going to resize the user data how much you use your data actually you see 18.9126 this is the calculator which one two six is the last address and the starting address are minus one eight point nine so total are one zero seven point one you see here there is no one 
that's why this uh, button are actually not really accurate but if you want to be accurate with the G this but this one really difficult to use it's in binary haha <laughs> if you want to try this is more accurate the data block because this one just roughly but can be used the GDs are more accurate block by block the data alright how much uh, your Android uh, you really need let's say for me I'm using it around 10 GB so my start for user data are 18.9 plus another let's say 12 GB so the start at 1892 30.9 this is my user data partition for example we go we if you want to use uh, if you are making the user data the new user data partition this is the start address this is the uh, ending address start and end see start and follow another one start and end this is the ESP partition for the boot partition of the windows and the last one is my windows this is my android user data make sure you know what the size of your android if you want more add more right now we are going to delete the uh, grow this one uh, don't worry about it this one only for the stock LG ROM even you delete it doesn't matter RM31 remove 31 partition Enter. Now you type P. So okay, 31 no more. Now we're going to delete the 30 RM 30. Right? Type P. You want to see the partition? Now no more user data. This is the last op B partition 189. We're going to make your Android user data, make part. For me, this one is around 10 GB. Okay, I'm using this one also. Can. If you want more, add more here. Just now, like I said, the start address are 18.9 you must follow the last ending partition if you want to create another one let's say you want your Android 30 GB plus 30 so the ending uh, 48.9 over here 48.9 so for example I give it to you This is the start address of the user data. The end address are, let's say you want uh, 30 GB. So, 48.9 capital letter GB and enter. Don't worry about the error. The P again. So, your user data for Android are 30 GB. So the next partition start from 48.9 I'm going to make another ESP partition make part 
plus 48.9 48.9 GB space and the size for this are uh, only 400 plus around 500 megabyte if you want more 1 uh, gig but it seldom reach more than that for 500 megabyte is enough for the ESP this is the boot partition so for 89 plus 5 is 49.4 GB 500 Mac and enter P print it so 500 megabyte this is the ASP and the neck partition is the last one your windows where you store your windows Start from 49.4 space 49.4 capital letter GB space. This is your last block, the ending block for the whole system 1 to 6 GB 48.9 to 1 to 6 GB. Hey, sorry. 1 to 6 GB not 1 2.6 1 to 6 and enter P again this is for Windows and PFS FAT32 ESP and your user data 30 GB right now set active the 31 31 set make it on and P again because this uh, recovery always error all right done now boot your uh, recovery reboot back to recovery because we're going to format the user data all your Android user data will be gone or you can use your factory reset on this uh, line SOS recovery or if you want to make sure reboot back to recovery go to add one reboot to recovery over here we can format the using the command on the command prompt this is the formatting okay adb shell see for this recovery you have to enable the where is it Go to advanced, enable ADB, ADB shell. Right, we are in a shell. Now we're going to format the uh, three partition that we make just now. The first one are uh, user data. right nothing suspicious ESP right the last one MTFS see inaccessible This is dangerous if you continue.
don't worry let's see if it can be used now the reboot to unwrite pass reboot the system whether your android are booting your active slot are b my phone are active slot b always remember that which active slot because the windows boot image will be placed to the inactive slot my android will be reset the recovery cannot be used right see allow debugging okay my android are okay maybe the space just now we are making 30 GB how much actual size Not now. That's why you must know how many the size you need. If you don't need it, make it one GB, just enough for safety. Okay, my Android actual size. 27.3 just now we are making 30 GB that's mean 2.7 GB that's uh, the binary 30 GB binary and the actual on PC can read only 27.3 right my Android are uh, okay now we're going to put to uh, fast boot restart reboot hold the volume minus volume minus hold the cable still connect we're going to boot to boot loader active slot B now we're going to push the This is the driver G at X must storage all the file needed already inside the website. Open the command prompt again. This time fast boot. Don't flash fast boot 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 let's say I want to boot my custom recovery let's say this is the orange fork recovery this one only for editing the partition table only boot the file don't flash it because it don't have the recovery this is the orange fork recovery the line edge recovery also can be used the other recovery the TWRP for g cannot be used none of them can be used this is my modified t the my modified uh, orange box we don't need it because uh, the recovery only for editing the partition table I want to put back to the bootloader okay slot B now 
for the mass storage this is important pass boot boot space drag and drop the lgg attack mass storage it's booting you will see the lg logo only there yes now we are in a mass storage so whether it detect or not open your device manager portable device see okay this is my window partition okay see it's not yet format because just now the recovery got problem you can format only don't delete in don't delete any partition from windows only format you can delete via twrp only after that you must replace back the size open the terminal as it means here you can use the g uh, use the this part you will see the this 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 all the partition there this is our always the last one the g attack select this then I want to list the partition inside the this then this bar see these two are our main partition two partition right I'm not going to use this one I'm going to use a tool this one be very very careful use it at your own risk if you got problem with your pawn don't blame me always remember that my tutorial are only for those who knows what to do right same also see partition 30 fat 16 because just now we haven't uh, format because the t uh, the recovery are error cannot format via that recovery that's why i create my own recovery where is it this is the table to the copy and uh, orange spot recovery right over here the disk genius right click format current partition fat 32 default size leave it there this one up to you 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 put your name as long you know the efs partition are in fat 32 this one i rename it to system and assign letter S system why IS because my command are uh, using S W this is the windows over here S the boot sector and the w is my windows partition windows and the fis right if your command are y and x remember efs y and windows are x format you will see over here yes 475 just now we 
which size is to 500 uh, the total reading uh, for 75 only hmm. this is the last one K okay. this is the windows always be careful that's why I making the partition the last two uh, my my windows partition don't create the user data at the last partition like, let's say for example here these two are the last windows the user data over here if you create a user data here EFS here and here are uh, windows sometimes you mistaken over here you overwrite that's why better user data EFS and windows then up to you also it's your brain who NTFS I rename it to Windows this is my Windows partition change the drive letter to W this is my Windows this is my boot the MPR boot right also you can uh, if you want to update the driver maybe next time there is another driver let's say this partition not visible because when you update the driver this both partition must be visible via the mass storage if this one not visible this one not visible the drive letter are different you can assign the drive letter over here just right click the EFS partition assign new drive letter let's say P this one going to P ready see P because my script are the FAT32 the EFS are on the S so I use the S easy assign so this tool are very simple you don't need to type but very 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 careful one slight mistake goodbye to your pawn especially Xiaomi the POCO F3 it really really had this tool I break my device so many times with this tool so this tool are not for POCO F3 for LG yes it's a yes this is a very simple tool to use right it's done now install windows right right and uh, open your command as administrator okay go to your windows 11 iso this is the latest one open it go to source look for install WIM or install exe or install est as long it is install what at the front right this command already inside the website that advertise how to install the windows same command copy this is here no space and copy this install vim right click copy 
as path. We only want the address of this installer execute. We want to execute this file to the space. Yeah, this is the index of the Windows. The directory are W because your Windows partition are W. That's why I rename it Windows so I know this W partition for my Windows. This is for the boot for the Windows. Right and enter. Maybe too small for you to see. Let me resize. Okay, the full HD. Wow, too big. Well, installing may take time, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. Actually, there is another tool you can be used, but that one really all the tool. But last time, the to deploy the Windows image to the uh, disk, this tool can be used also. You apply image, choose the image, choose the drive, also can be used. It's up to you, but this is the latest. Maybe, well, which one you prefer? only the driver are different you cannot use this tool to deploy driver so this tool cannot be used to deploy driver remember that Everything become bigger now. See, very slow. Also, you can copy the the whole image. This uh, Windows image. Oh, there is it. Uh, the ISO. You write it using the Q field to the Windows. But you cannot install driver. Let it run first. You boot, you boot it first without the driver. After it boot to the menu, then you cannot do anything, and then boot back. Then apply the driver via mass storage. There is a lot of way to do it. Actually, my Android uh, sometimes I do it 4 GB only over here. This is the last address, uh, the starting address for user data, Android user data, plus 4 GB, maybe 22 over here. 22.9. Just enough for my Android. For the emulator. But I cannot play other game because the space are not enough actually. So the Android users user data, the space for you, it depend on you how much you want. If you don't in, if you don't need it, just make it one kick at least for safe. 
don't delete other partition of course you can delete it because you don't need it you only need the windows but in case your window got problem you are in trouble why because your android cannot boot maybe you lose your bootloader even worse your bootloader that's important or even worse it's not booting at all this one don't delete persist this is the most FDM don't delete a lot of important data here this is the carrier the carrier no worry this three see the vendor a vendor b system a system b now my active slot are b first we press the line edge on the system a when it put after we press the GF it active on the B so the A and B are the same except the active slot are B the user data are for the B uh, system it's not for the A so the A will not boot because it don't have the user data the user data are for B only that's easy user data only one why they don't want to make it two actually it can with a modified <coughs> recovery you can make dual boot android 110 111 but that recovery will switch the user data partition only the bootloader cannot read that partition wow my room temperature right now 20 degrees celsius i have to off my aircon really cold it's raining outside and 1 am over here in malaysia because of you all i make this video and i don't care how much view i get as long you learn something that's it right finish this is the driver we need to install for the <coughs> LGG attack first 
check the definition internal ms to lm open it you have to check component see at 150 what it flashing device and platform graphic graphic let's check the graphics first in the graphic folder there is another folder desktop all right this one correct and then device two folder and minimal just two correct and platform best and minimal platform best and minimal <coughs> okay and the last any soc desktop desktop and support desktop best support desktop best surface extra and mobile component desktop best so extras and mobile component this one one two three okay all are okay right the driver you download just now right click open in another tab there is two tab I already open this is the main folder and another folder I open open again definition desktop arm64 internal right main folder ok still in the command prompt as administrator cd space copy this folder path because we want the prompt to open inside this folder copy as path and enter alright the command prompt already inside this folder because we want to execute the updater alright you see the updater oh sorry we can execute this one so dot backslash you see the name of the driver data capital D R I B E R capital U P -E D A T E R dot A -E X E execute the driver of data space minus D space the definition file ms m copy as path right, right click copy as path and paste here space minus r space and uh, the driver folder this is the driver folder copy as path and paste here space again minus p space your drive for the windows w capital letter w followed by column and backslash and enter if there is any error you check again like I check it before. Sometimes the folder I'm missing.
the window that you the Windows ISO that you already open you can eject the K drive you can eject it we don't need it anymore What are still in the mass storage? We almost finished. The okay, finish done. Now open the command again. Not as administrator, only command. Now we're going to create the boot, the BCD boot for the Windows inside the EFS partition. Oh, sorry, not this one. Right click this uh, Windows icon, terminal as admin. Sorry, sorry. Okay, copy this one. Enter. We're going to create the boot command for the Windows. And then set the test signing on. Because we are using the unsigned driver. If you don't set this one on, your Windows will not boot. Uh, blue screen update. This one is a must for the unsigned driver. Except Poco X3 Pro don't need this one because it using secure boot now. Right, finish. That's it. Done. But not yet because your UEFI haven't flash. All right. You see, just now my active slot are uh, slot B. We're going to boot to bootloader again. The first boot, hold the volume minus and the power button. Hold it until it restart. When it restart, release the power button, but still holding the volume minus. Okay, I'll hold the volume minus. Now we are in a bootloader. My B slot are for my Android. So I flash the UFI to the A slot, the B slot, active slot for Android B, and flash the UFI to the A slot. Open the command. This is the UEFI. This is the latest one. This one. Fast boot. Flash boot. Underscore. A. A for my Windows and B for the Android. Pull and drop this. Latest. There is a latest one. Right. A already flash the UEFI. Let's try booting my Android first. After this, we switch to slot B. Start. Too many fingerprints. 
this is Android line SOS maybe I have to redo <coughs> redo the setup again because we already format because the data are reset all right to boot to Android just restart restart all volume minus cable still connected switch to slot B A eh, slot A Android and slot B A eh, B I'm switching to slot A because we don't have the recovery actually you can use this recovery also the switch slot but when you are in Windows you cannot switch slot because the recovery are inside the boot image boot image for this Android already got the recovery but boot image for the Windows don't have the recovery if you want the recovery on that UFI you have to patch it set underscore active set active B for my Android and A Windows set active window now start it reboot We're starting Windows 11 it will restart a couple of time Oi, what happened I cannot resize this thing first boot may take a while don't worry just sit back and relax drink your coffee you can disconnect the cable because we don't need uh, USB mouse we don't need USB hub because everything working except for POCO F1 POCO F1 you have to use the USB hub That's why the recovery is important to edit the partition table. If your recovery problem, your device will crash a lot. Trust me. That's why the working recovery. That's why I'm making my own recovery just for editing the partition but not for flashing flashing I'm using the stock recovery from the boot image itself every ROM got it on recovery especially the newer Android phone that don't have the recovery partition for the device with the recovery that's very simple to put to Windows just using the recovery you can switch slot or flash the UEFI image but for this device without the recovery then a PC by your side is a must after this it will reboot again the final reboot and then you will be to windows menu the final setup for your windows in windows you need to update the gpu driver The only problem with this G8X is uh, the Wi-Fi. If you connect the Wi-Fi, it crash. Only 
if you want to update something you can use the Wi-Fi after that you off it if you want to play game back to 4K my display It rebooting <coughs> for second time this time it will start with the uh, windows first boot may take time able thing to windows right over here you can skip the windows account by signing if you can search the internet how to skip the signing into windows account or you can sign in your into your windows account as up to you as for me i don't want to use it i can skip the process because i'm using the tiny 11 iso all right so over here next sorry for my camera right next over here okay and over here I can skip the windows signing see on the left here I don't have internet hope you can see nope I don't want to sign in get to new with limited setup on the left over here just okay this one you can rename whatever you want really tiny you hold on okay enter this one I can skip just enter no password needed just skip this one you can disable it I don't want any 
of the Windows update. That's it. Windows 11 on G Attack. Alright, first boot. Now we're going to update the GPU driver. Why? When, when you look at the display, there is no brightness control. Even that one not active also. That's why we need to update the GPU driver. Just hold the Windows icon. Over here, device manager. Device manager. Oh. Very tiny. Using a mouse better and go to the display adapter. Nope. Display adapter. White. You see Microsoft display there. Right click, update driver, over here, let me pick from a list, see, LG G8 X Arduino GPU, and next, now we got the GPU driver, okay, you can right click again. Now we got the brightness control. You can change the resolution. Right, that's it. Everything working. Perfect. And thank you for watching. Enjoy your Windows 11 and stay tuned for the next video.